uh, talk a little bit about Joe Sharp and what he's meant to, the, and and Glenn Sharp also, and what he's meant to the football program. Well, the the Sharp family um, has done so much for so many people, and uh, certainly the amount of former players, uh, former Falcons I've met uh, because of Joe Sharp, uh, whether it's being in the equipment room after practice or after a game or before a game. Uh, Joe and his family have done a lot for Bowling Green, and, and we're certainly going to miss him. Uh, he was great to me and our entire <coughs> staff during the transition here, and um, you know, we, we really wish him well, and, and we miss him, and uh, we, we hope that we can get him back involved in our program in some capacity, uh, just because he means so much to so many people. Switching to today's practice, we talk a little bit about it seemed to me, and maybe it was because when I walked in, it looks like there's some focus on special teams. Is that an added thing, or is it similar to what you did in years past? You know, we're probably devoting another 10 minutes to practice to it, uh, just because I think with where we are and the jump that we need to make, that's a great way to do it. And uh, I also believe that with the depth that we have in the secondary, at linebacker, at running back, at tight end, that we have a lot of good young players that we're going to be able to have more starters and more depth on special teams because of the depth we have on both sides of the ball. And uh, a lot of those guys haven't done it before. So like everything else, we've got to get as many reps as we can uh, so they can perform at a high level in the season. Uh, you talked a little bit about an emphasis on stopping the run and improving the running game. Uh, with, you have lost, uh, in terms of running the ball, you've lost Willie Jeter, an all-league performer. Will you talk a little bit about the guys who are stepping in to, to compete to replace him? Well, w Willie, you know, got so many snaps here and did so many productive things with the football and was great in the pass game and the screen game. And Willie was great in protections. Again, I don't think it's uh, one guy's going to replace him. Uh, but what we lose in the one guy, I think we make up for in depth. I mean, certainly Jordan Hopgood, John Pettigrew, Eric Geiger, Jamel Martin uh, are all capable of, of playing good football for us. And, and I think what's going on at that position is before it was Willie was clearly number one and nobody was even pushing him, it is now you've got four guys that every day push each other and <coughs> play and perform at a high level where there's going to be somebody else there to take the rep and win the job. And uh, that's the, the greatest motivator I know is competition. Uh, are you seeing different things from different guys or are these uh, similar players or, or do they bring different strengths to the job? Well, they, they, I think Willie, they're, they're all bigger than Willie, um, but they don't have his experience right now. They're not as good as he was in the screen game, in the pass game, and with protections. Um, but they're, they're getting reps and they're getting better. And, you know, I, I can't be worried about them catching Willie next year. Our concern has to be that they're getting better. And, that, and that's across the board in our football team. That, uh, you know, we, we need to get better uh, in so many areas. And, uh, you know, as players get better, the team gets better. And I think that's one thing we're very encouraged about is that there's a lot of guys in our team that are playing at a higher level than they did in the spring, than they did in the fall. And part of that is just because of the competition. They have to. The, the jobs aren't, aren't as safe. Uh, you have a scrimmage coming up on Saturday. What kinds of things will you be looking to do in that scrimmage? We're, we're going to try to get a ton of reps. Uh, with As young as we are, right? these guys just got to play. So, uh, you know, we're going to run our offense, we're going to run our defense, but we just got to put these guys in as many situations as we can. And, uh, you know, we've, we're just trying to get more team reps and let them play more football. And, um, you know, so it's going to be a, a lot more, a lot longer than we've traditionally done for a first scrimmage. Okay. Um, we talked at the start of, of uh, the drills of guys who are staying out. Uh, it, as you've gone through, you're about halfway through. Are there other players who are injured who are going to be keeping you're going to be keeping out of that uh, scrimmage? Uh, right now, Kamar, Kamar Jordan has a little bit of a shoulder that he, he's practicing a little bit. I don't know if he'll go Saturday. Uh, DJ Lynch uh, has a kind of a, a bruised kneecap that we got to see if he's going to be able to go or not. Um, but you know, other than that, we've, we've stayed relatively healthy so far. That's what I've got.